Widely regarded as the world's most prestigious portrait competition, this year attracting more than 2,000 entries. Shortlist for the BP Portrait Award suggests the traditional art form is having a major resurgence. In a moment, we'll show you the stunning winning painting. But just so that we're all on the same page of art history, how about a 30-second masterclass in portraiture? In the beginning, portraits were only for the royal court, like this massive, muscular Henry VIII. But the aristocracy soon caught up and industrialization meant the middle classes could have their image immortalized too, like this Reynolds of Samuel Johnson by the 19th century. Take a look at the Van Gogh portraits where they were becoming impressionistic and contemporary. And with Picasso, abstract and surreal. But coming right up to date, the art form has become straighter, more realistic again. Like this painting of J.K. Rowling. And these days, subjects are more likely to be celebrities like footballer Rio Ferdinand. These days, any old rogue can get his portrait painted. Well, here's an extremely contemporary portrait. It is of our culture editor, Matthew Kane, live at London's National Portrait Gallery. Matthew. Thank you very much, John. I should say that the BP Portrait Award is by far the most popular show that they do here at the National Portrait Gallery. It gets up to 300,000 visitors every year. The organisers are hoping that that number of people will come to see this year's winner, which I'm standing next to right now. It's called Distracted, and it's by the Dutch artist Wim Heldens. The sitter is a 25-year-old student who the artist has known for decades now and who's sat for him several times. Here's the artist, Wim Heldens. Congratulations. What do you think is the appeal of this particular piece? Uh, I have no idea. I feel, that <laughs> when, I feel that when a painting is finished, it's for the viewers, and people should tell what, what the appeal really is. I don't think as an artist I should, should be saying that. Well, as an artist, then, in that case, how much of it for you is about art, and how much of it is about psychological analysis, would you say? I think it's very intertwined. It's very mixed up. I, I wouldn't really know how much of, of uh, one or the other would be in there. It's a very much, very much a traditionally representational approach that you take. Um, <laughs> well, yes, I was. Well, I was going I'm to a say. Soft art painter. I'm always a very, very surprised what people think of my work. I have no. Uh, I don't really have that reference. Well, I tell you what. I see the mirror in there. I see some of the Renaissance masters. Am I completely on the wrong track, or was this intentional? I feel very intention? flattered. <laughs> I feel very flattered. <laughs> No, no, I think you're on the right track, but I'm not uh, very much an intellectual painter. And I've seen a lot of stuff and it has influenced me, so I guess you see that in that painting. Yeah. So do you think that we're learning to value again technique and technical ability, would you say, with this painting winning this year's award? Oh, that's hard for me to say, but I think that that uh, um, figurative art and is, is making a, a strong revival, and I think people are really in, getting more and more interested in that, and, and as more people are painting it now and studying it. I, I really, Do yeah. you think, therefore, we're becoming more conservative? Not necessarily. I don't see myself as conservative at all. <laughs> And, okay, then, in that case, what does this award mean for you personally? Oh, this is a dream come true. When I came to the National Portrait Gallery the first time, I was looking around like, oh, if I ever could be exhibited here, and to win this award is absolutely dream come true, really. Well, and actually, on the subject of the National Portrait Gallery, portraiture in general is making something of a comeback. Um, why do you think it's getting more and more popular and more fashionable again? I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. Do you think it's maybe something to do with the, the characters and the human warmth and emotions being a way in, an entry point for people? I, I think that, that history moves in, in, in waves, it goes up and down, and I think that probably after, uh, you know, modern art has been obsessed with, uh, with the negativity of human life for, for a long time. And I think maybe there's a, a different time coming and that people are more interested in looking at each other and, uh, you know, looking at the world and trying to look at people for what they are. And do you keep an awareness of that in mind while you're working? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I have a very deep interest in people. That's what my painting is all about. It's about the human soul, really. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Vim. And now, John, from the National Portrait Gallery in London, it's back to you.